This <coughs> is a screencast on how to use the tool that I've given you for writing a critique and reading a critique. Uh, and I'm going to use a very short example here, and then I'm going to get a longer one uh, <coughs> for you to look at as well. Okay, this article was written by, or rather it's a letter to the editor written in response to an article that we read. Remember reading, reigning in sports gambling, fantasy sports gambling, and the author is Michael Bass. And he's executive vice president of um, the National Basketball Association. And he was mentioned in the original article. And what's interesting about this is that this is his response. So this is a very specific type of writing called the letter to the editor. Over here, you'll notice that when you write the article, you're going to have to introduce the article, which is a letter to the editor, and you're going to have to introduce the author, who is uh, Michael Bass. So you might say something like, Michael Bass, in his letter to the editor, in response to the October 5th editorial board, editorial, rein in online fantasy sports gambling, argues blank. So, <clears throat> we have done number one and number two. Now we need to work on number three. Now, <clears throat> the background material and critique is for the reader who has not read the original piece. And in this case, you would have to give background that the original article provided. You have to sum it up. And... In this case, it was about the dangers of online sports gambling, uh, destroying the integrity of the sport, and causing uh, addiction uh, amongst uh, gamblers. You might explain why this is of current interest. There's been a recent uh, controversy involving some... Mm, shady activity amongst employees of some of these online fantasy sports gambling businesses like FanDuel. Um, you know, you might talk a little bit about, about the author himself, which means you have to do some Google search of Michael Bass. Uh, you might look at, you know, the critique might look at the origins of the article and trace it through to this particular letter to the editor. Um, or it might be a combination of all of the above. Suffice to say, um, background material is provided for your reader so they don't get lost. Uh, so, you know, you might, <laughs> you might say, um, And what you might say to the reader might be something like, you know, just let's back up a minute to give you some background. Next, you want to summarize the author's main points. So you've done all this up here. Now you want to go down here and summarize the main points and the purpose. His purpose, obviously, is to argue back against the original article. And how does he do that? Well, first off, he says, well, these things are legal. And they're fun. And there's no evidence that they uh, cause uh, harm in any way to the integrity of the sport or to people. And as to sports betting itself, heck, we're already spending millions of dollars, billions of dollars on it, illegally. And that is unregulated and unmonitored. Do we really want that? Lastly, he, he just simply repeats, A, it wouldn't undermine the integrity of sports, and it would bring new tools for monitoring and promoting responsible betting. 
that's the summary. You're not saying yay or nay against him because that's not the part of the, you haven't reached that part of the critique yet. You may have some stuff in the back of your head that you're thinking about, but that's not it yet. The next step is to ask yourself, to what extent does the author succeed in the purpose he set for himself here? And his purpose is to argue that gambling, fantasy sports gambling is A-OK, -okay, and that he's trying to persuade you that it is, that the original article was incorrect. Well, I mean, he says they're legal. That means they're ethical, right? Well, not necessarily. There could be a flaw in his argument. Um, how popular is it? What is that? Uh, do we assume that because it's popular, we should allow it? And, and what about this exciting? Yeah, that's part of the problem is the excitement of it is what makes gambling so addictive. He says there's no evidence. And that is just false from the original article. There was evidence. Now, if he said, this is, there's no conclusive evidence, but he's beginning to sound like the cigarette companies and uh, who in the 60s who argued that, well, you can't prove that cigarette smoking caused cancer. Um, what does integrity of sports mean? And then the fact that he limp, lumps social, gambling under social ills, other social ills that exist in the world, that's a little unfair, I think. Um, the argument that is that uh, that we should control gambling is correct, I think, um, here, but it's hard to say uh, whether the monitoring and the regulation of them will actually uh, reduce the corruption inherent in the sport itself, in the, in the gambling uh, institution itself. So, you know, this paragraph right here is a bit of a smokescreen, I think. And here, it simply repeats what they said earlier. I'm not sure how effective that is. I would have valued something a little more there. This sounds like he's just, you know, summing up what he said. Just He's just out there countering this original article just so there's something out there countering it. It's like... It's his job as National Basketball Association Executive Vice President, and there are probably dozens of them out there whose job is very similar to this, to watch the press. To what extent do I agree with the author? Um, not entirely. I think it's, um, basically it's just, you know, it's as opinionated as the original article. And I think this letter to the editor reflects the problem that is inherent in the original article where there was not enough pushback uh, by the editorial board. So what's my conclusion? Overall, I'd have to say that um, Bass comes off more as a naysayer rather than some, a reasoned uh, arguer. Um, you'll note there are no facts and figures there's no stories. Uh, it has a, a feel of something that was dashed off quickly simply to be a response to the original article. And uh, I think that this, the National Basketball Association needs to do a better job, at least in providing some of the facts, uh, if they're going to benefit from it especially. So overall, I'd say that it was kind of a weak response uh, that I was not persuaded in any way, uh, and that my mind is still not quite made up because the original article, the original article, Rain in Online Fantasy Sports Gambling, is, was not all that great. So, mm, still up in the air for me. Uh, I'd have to give a thumbs down to this.